Hi, this review is for the Kiritake Ganzai 48 color set. About five years ago, their 36 color set was one of my first introductions to watercolor painting. At that time, I was mainly using them to color rubber stamped greeting cards. This year, they released 12 new colors, and though I've started using more professional western watercolor paints for artwork in recent years, this is an affordable set with a gorgeous presentation that I decided to get for nostalgia's sake. The pans are larger than most standard half pan watercolor sets and contain about the same amount of paint as a full size pan. At about a dollar per color, they seem like a good value for the money. They rewet easily, have a high end student or crafter quality pigment load. The colors are vibrant and react with salt for texture effects, just like standard watercolors. With the exception of ultramarine blue and raw umber deep, the colors are non-granulating, and with the exception of the three metallics being easy to lift, the rest are staining colors that could be used for layering without lifting previously dry layers. None of these colors are so opaque that you wouldn't see a color layer underneath. I made a color chart with a black line through the swatches so you can see the semi-opaque to transparent nature of these paints. I mention that because I was a little confused by the writing on the packaging claiming that you could use these paints as gouache, but they could be watered down to use like watercolors. These are dry, hard pans, and while they rewet quickly, the amount of water used to activate them creates a semi-opaque to semi-transparent effect. I'll show them on black paper in a moment. Only the colors that are mixed with white, creating a pastel tone, are opaque enough to show up, similarly to gouache. However, due to the type of binder used in these paints, thick applications can be slightly shiny, and gouache is known to be matte, not glossy. So it's my opinion that these should be treated as a watercolor paint. For anyone unfamiliar with Ganzai, these are a traditional Japanese paint. They are different than the common Western watercolor in binders and sometimes pigment particle size. Western style watercolors that you may be familiar with, such as Daniel Smith, Paul Rubens, or Van Gogh, use finely ground pigment powders mixed with water and gum arabic, a tree sap, as their binder to hold the pigment to paper. Gansai paints are traditionally mixed with a water-soluble animal glue instead. However, this Kiritake set is an animal-free modern version, which may contain sugar, vegetable glycerin, and starch. I wish they included the pigment information, but they do say that all of the colors are non-toxic. This should mean that all the colors with names that include cobalt or cadmium are just similar looking to those toxic pigment colors. They are just a hue, which I wish they would have labeled. I think the biggest reason to get these paints is a comparatively low cost paired with beautiful presentation. These make a great gift for any artist or crafter, particularly those beginners who want a large color selection without needing to know how to mix colors. Though they do mix well and have several primary trios to play with. Since these paints have been a popular choice for a while now, I'm curious how many of you are familiar with them. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this set. Let me know in the comments below.